a great big spicy hello. Welcome to Spicy Business Talk. This is Diana Price, and we're here every Tuesday for lunch. No calories for us, but a lot of good spicy nuggets for you. And as you know, we help speakers, executives, entrepreneurs, authors, and thought leaders. We're on a mission to help you balance your business from top to bottom and balance your life as you go along inside and out. So we gather here with all the experts in their field. And today we have an expert that, did you take a look at the blog? You know I'm going to ask you if you looked at the blogs. If you did look at the blog, well, if you did look at the blog, you get a sneak peek of my awesome money expert today. So go ahead over to dpriceassociates.com to check out the blog post. That's dpriceassociates.com. And we're going to be talking about redesigning your thoughts about money today. So before I tell you all about my special guest, I want you to know that you can communicate with us if you like. You can call us at area code 323-965-1600. 323-965-1600. And if you want to go to the Facebook page and start communicating with us there, you can go to our Facebook page, which is Spicy Business Talk. We look forward to interacting with you today. So without further ado, let's talk about my awesome guest. And she's really pretty too. <laughs> So I'm going to read you a little bit about her bio. Uh, my guest today is Marlene Elizabeth Lyle. She's a local educator, she's an entrepreneur, and she's a parent who is passionate about helping heart-centered women transform their relationship with money inside and out. I got to tell you, transforming my relationship with money is something that I had trouble with, so it's so good to have her here today. So when it comes to wealth, Attitude is everything, Marlene says. If our relationship with money is damaged, our financial wings remain broken. That means you can't fly, you can't soar, you can't do anything. She helps women grow their money wings. <laughs> Speaking of money wings, this is a term that she created. So money wings is a term to describe the power that lies within each of us to manage our attitude towards money no matter what our financial circumstances are. So I want Marlene to tell you a little bit more about money wings and how she formed money wings and where she came up with that awesome term. So you guys get a great big welcome and a nice big spicy welcome to Marlene Lyle. Yay! Nice to have you on the show. Thank so you, good Diana. to have Thank you. you so yes. Much. Thank yes, you. Yes. It's a gift to be here and I'm just so excited because um, as you know and as you said I'm just all about um, doing everything that I can to empower women to play big. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. You have to have that play big mentality, otherwise it doesn't work. Right. So tell right. us a little bit about how you got into this money wings things. And I love the term money wings. I mean it's all an attitude about wealth. So tell yes. tell us a little bit more. Thank you. Well um, I spent a lot of time um, you know, in my career playing big. Um, I was pretty young when I left home at 19 mm -hmm. and uh, ended up working on Capitol Hill. And uh, at that time, uh, the representative I worked for on the Hill, the congressman, was Leon Panetta. Nice. Right. We, we remember him. You guys <laughs> right, remember, remember him? him right. <laughs> So this was way before, um, you know, he ended up uh, going on to bigger things, right? Um, but at 19, I, I was out doing that. And then uh, my work in politics shifted my, my focus mm -hmm. to looking more at um, the human spirit and, and really helping people to soar in ways that if they could work on the inside out, oh, they'd yeah. get to bigger places, right? So at that point, I ended up deciding to go back to school, and I got my uh, degree from Boston College in religious education. And at that point, started doing lots of, I've always been a teacher at heart, mm -hmm. so did lots of teaching, lots of workshops. Mm -hmm. I ended up, again, playing big by uh, working on television. And I had a wonderful time. It was, it was a very exciting time. Television. Right. So tell us about <laughs> your television career. 
So I worked um, closely with, I co-hosted a show with um, a priest by the name of Father Michael Manning. And Father Michael Manning. Father Michael Manning. Okay. Very, very vivacious, mm. wonderful uh, Catholic priest. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was a, it was a wonderful experience. Uh, the show was aired on the Trinity Broadcast Network. TBN. TBN, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we, the show went into 110,000 homes. Uh, actually, excuse me, 110 million homes around Whoa. the country and the world. Cool. It was a, it was a pretty, cool it was a that? pretty exciting show. Um, and so, uh, but there was a, there came a time though in my life where you know I'm playing big and doing great things in my career, that it was time to settle down. And I, I was ready to get married, have my, you yeah. know, have a child, and, and, and all that. So I did. So I I, I had my my daughter, and um, what happened is I ended up I ha we had a passion for being a stay at home mom, mm -hmm. and so I um, ended up staying home with her uh, for about ten years, and until she was able to you know start school and, and no more back. TBN right no more <laughs> TBN right right. <laughs> But it was at that point when I started becoming, uh, you know, very much, you know, mom and, and really trying to be the best mom I could be. I approached everything that way. I, I really, one of the things I really value is excellence, being the best we can be. We have such a finite time on this earth. Let's make it the best. So it has a ripple effect That's too, a good right? Right? Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So um, I decided that it, one of the things that was very important to me is to raise a money smart kid, a, a money smart girl, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, well, wait a minute though, <laughs> how am I going to do that if I didn't have that strong foundation in my life? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so that, that began, began my journey to start really exploring my relationship with money, money and really kind of trying to figure out what does that even mean? How do you have a relationship with yeah. something that's, yeah, yeah. that's not a human being? Oh, but you right? have to have that. Right. So this is so good that you Absolutely. are instilling that first mm -hmm. in yourself because it has to start at home. It has to start at home. And then to your daughter. Absolutely. Yeah. And I do think in terms of legacy. So I think yeah. in terms of, you know, uh, whatever um, I teach onto her will yes. be what she teaches onto her kids. Yes. I constantly have that long range view. Right. Um, whenever I'm, I'm, you know, teaching her things about life, and so, so I started really examining. Well, okay, my, this relationship with money, and I'm thinking, well, okay, it, it needs some attention here, and so, my instinct was to start, um, you know, reading about the technical aspects mm -hmm. of money, all the mm -hmm. practical aspects mm -hmm. of money, how you budget, how you save, how you invest, all the pr practical aspects, but. Nothing was really kind of connecting. I, I noticed that hmm, I was, if anything, I was feeling overwhelmed. It wasn't. I wasn't feeling empowered. I wasn't feeling energized. And I pay attention to those things mm -hmm. as a way to show me whether I'm on the right path or not. Okay. So then, um, I thought to myself, you know, there's got to be an easier way, right? And we're all busy, <laughs> right? We're all busy. An we can't squeeze enough time <laughs> right. out of each minute of right. every day, right? right? So I thought, okay, what's an easier way for me to, to take, you know, to take a look at my relationship with money? I decided to look at, well, how do wealthy people think, right? And so all I did is immersed myself in quotes, famous quotes from people who already had wealth in their life, mm -hmm. right? And, what a great way to start. Right. And and I found this book that was, I think, maybe $5, 500 quotes, quotes about money. About money for $5. So, again, wow. when you start looking at your relationship with money or anything in life, yeah. it's easy to make excuses, yeah. right? It sure I'm, is. I, hello, I'm, the, I'm uh, one of yeah. the big ones think, to do I, that. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Me too. And, I'm right there with you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but five bucks, how could I pass that? Sure. Right? I couldn't pass on that. So, but what happened was, as I, as I started to uh, see the pattern, I started to see that it's all about your attitude. Oh, it really, yes. even before you get I to all that. the practical it aspects, it's all about attitude. It's what, it's what you believe. And that is a whole different conversation. Yeah, it is. And a whole different exploration. Because it's your core. I mean, mm -hmm. what you believe, it, it resonates with your core values. Mm -hmm. and. It comes out of your mouth that way. It becomes a habit. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts are what you believe. So I completely yeah. agree with you. I could go on about that. <laughs> right. I, I, I stop right there. <laughs> I flip the script. You, I'm right? flipping it back. <laughs>
<laughs> well, that that's pretty much what yeah. shifted my 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 focus, and so yes. I started realizing, okay, now we're talking. Now yes. I understand what I need to start paying attention to, and at that point, I started um, really examining then my my beliefs, yeah. my attitudes toward money. There you go. And I think that one of the formulas, I, I, I don't have a really a, a better word for it, but one of the formulas that I think about uh, in terms of how we get to where we are in our life mm -hmm. is, you know, it all starts with our thoughts, right? Oh, it does. So whatever you think, think. first it's in your mind. First it's in your mind. Right? Then it becomes what you say. Yes, right? it does. Right? So you think I'm smart. And then, then you, you say, say that. I'm smart when you're conversing you speak with that. you speak that right you speak it then your actions flow from those words Correct. so you're thinking it you're saying it your actions in life yes. start to exactly. reflect it well then okay I'm smart so therefore I will take these actions right. or these steps right. right I will give myself instructions to do what I need to do right so actions and then those those you know, co the combination of your, mm -hmm. all your actions form then your habits. Yeah. It's like you walk a path, right? That's right. You walk a path. That's right. And that path, the more you walk, it becomes deeper, deeper, right. deeper. And so then you're just in that path, that habit. And you habit. keep doing it. A habit is it. formed because it's repetitive. Repetitive. 21 times, 30 times, 45 That's right. times. Your actions. And right. if you don't do, I, I used to teach all the time that, you know, if you don't get to 21, 30, whatever times you need for your habit, if you stop at 3, 5, 10, or 15, you got to start over at 1 yes. until you get to 45 or yes. whatever it is that takes you to form that habit. But That's you're so right. right. That's right. It, it, is, it is so much as if, you know, you're trying to really make a pathway, yes. right? Yeah. And so then, so we have your thoughts, your words, your actions, your habits, and then Lo and behold, your ab your ab your habits have then become come to form your character. Yes. Right? And then your character is basically your destiny. Yeah. And your destiny ultimately is your story. Yeah. It's your story. So, let's back up and say your thought is I'm dumb. I'm not intelligent. I'm not good enough. I'm not brave enough. I'm not whatever it is that we all struggle with, right? Limiting it belief. works the opposite exactly. And so lo and behold, it, with that one thought, you create your entire life you story. Do. It's so true. Mm -hmm. You can just as easy have it, all of those I'm dumb, I can't, I yeah. won't. Right. And you can just have the same positive spin and what a difference the long term value of your life would be. That's you know, right. we are talking about money today, and it's just so amazing to have Mrs. Marlene Lyle with us. We're going to come right back, so you stay with us while we talk about redesigning your thoughts about money. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Spicy Business Talk. Have you ever, ever had such a spicy show where you don't have to get any calories? <laughs> and it's not food related, it's all the flavor of your life and your business. And today we have the pleasure of having a money expert. Her name is Marlene Lyle. We're going to talk about money wings. Have you ever heard of something? Well, she's going to tell us all about money wings. Welcome <laughs> to Spicy Business Talk. What Thank you. happened and how did you come up with Bunny Wings? What happened in your life 
that made you come up with this term called money wings. How did that come about? Well, um, I I started to really understand the importance of our attitude around money, our beliefs mm -hmm. around money. Uh, if, if, you know, really it comes down to 80-20, 80% of your success in life is all attitude, yeah. all beliefs. Yeah. The, the rest of the 20% is skill set, right? But, wow, that's a pretty big number, right? Yeah. So I, I, I realized that in order to transform our relationship with money, mm -hmm. that we needed to begin to take a look and have conversations around this very kind of taboo topic. Sometimes, oftentimes actually, a lot of people, a lot of us, have uh, struggles around yeah. talking about money. A lot of times there's shame around it. Exactly. Um, and, and even, but even those of us that are playing big, you know, we still prevent ourselves from playing I, bigger, yeah, right? Yeah, right? absolutely. There's, there's yeah. so much more we can accomplish. And so money wings is, is basically a term that came to mind uh, that for me meant that it's the power that we have still, because we can feel very powerless when we have a situation that we, that we can't seem to get our, you know, yeah. grasp on, right? But money wings is that power that we have to at least shift our attitude, oh, I love to that. shift our focus, to transform oh, our I fear into focus in terms of why am I trying to mm -hmm. change my relationship with money? Why? It's obviously not working for me. Yeah. The the dreams that I have, the vision that I have for the future is, is, is in me, but why is it? Do, why do I have this gas break syndrome going on, right? Why do I have the gas, you know, going toward the directions I want to go? You know, the like dreams that I have. Step on the pedal, right? Let's really, let's go. Let's make it. this happen. Yeah. But then this this break at the same time of, uh, well, I'm not yeah. quite sure. Yeah. This hesitancy, yeah. right? Really and it's that pressuring on the brakes too yeah. fast. Yeah. Kind of, instead kind of, of yeah. caught in that right. gas break, gas yeah. break, gas break, it's, gas it's break. Just being stuck, basically, yeah. right? And so when I started learning a lot more about a money mindset mm -hmm. and really recognizing the power that is there, uh, then that's when I really started getting more involved in teaching, uh, speaking about it, um, Got it. And, and really helping women start to really understand and master their money mindset. So money mindset and money wings and fear and attitude, it's all about you know, how you can soar and fly and... Absolutely. And one of the visualizations that uh, I sometimes use is that of, let's say, an eagle that's mm -hmm. in a tree, a beautiful mm -hmm. tree, and, you know, this eagle is perched, and it could be even a baby eagle, but just kind of perched, the, yeah, like, right, you, right, you, holding tight to this branch, right, <laughs> right, and, and, but has this beautiful view, gorgeous, the river, the snow yeah, mountains, yeah. all the gorgeous yeah. scenery, right, but just is just kind, kind of, of a powerful like symbol yes yeah. yes but also unafraid to leave that tree mm -hmm. which is kind of like our home mm -hmm. you know afraid to leave yeah. whatever it is that's calling us we see it we yeah. want it like, but we don't want to leave this big beautiful world out there right but i'm just tight on the tight branch on the branch but then suddenly the branch snaps mm. snaps and so the eagle still has the branch in its in its Claws, right? But now is forced to kind of forced to use flap its wing. the wings. It's kind of survival, right? You <laughs> yeah. just go right into survival yeah. mode. You just bam. Precisely. You do what you have to do to survive, right? That's... But he's but he or she is holding the branch, right? <laughs> Till right, flying around with this branch and using the wings, but realizing that wait a minute, this branch is now getting heavy. Yeah, the branch is getting I can heavy now. That. And that that branch that re that is the b belief that's kind of weighing you know, this, this eagle that wants to soar. And yeah. so there comes that moment where, you know, the eagle does release that you gotta branch. Let go. You got to let it you go. You got to let it go. And the eagle's better off. The branch yeah. is better off. Every, yeah. everything is, is yeah. how it should and be. There's a lot of times I can, I can, I can absolutely agree with what you're saying because you, when you, when you have money, you think, okay, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And you just start to let that branch go and kind of soar and let your let your you know creativity and right. your values and also you know the planning and all that but right. then something happens and you either lose it all or you yes. make a bad decision and right. you go to that fear mode and you're going oh my god yes 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 oh. right and and you know money wings is definitely 
all about freedom. That's yes. always what it's about. And so if we're, you know, you, we find ourselves sometimes in this routine where we make a lot of money, then we lose it. Right. We make it, we lose it. Uh, you know, kind of a red flag to us that there's something deeper going on. Yeah. And when we do start talking about money mindset, we are really talking about the subconscious world of yes. our life. Yes. And that is yeah. a very powerful place yeah. to explore and to be in touch with. It's hidden from us, yeah. but we need to be aware. Speaking of the subconscious mind, I mean, I mean, think about just, just really, because I think about this sometimes. Mm -hmm. Think about, you know, say a family that is in a whole <laughs> different mentality, a whole different area, a whole different location, a whole different way of growing up yes. that may be completely just making it from check to check, That's may right. not be making it from check to check. That's right. <clears throat> and then, you know, this kind of mindset and influence yes. and environment that they're in yes. has a huge effect huge. on their attitude about money, their relationship with money, and, yes. you know, the you know the, the top five people in their lives yes. are probably... I would call it money lack. Yes, they, they, yes, they, right, <laughs> right, <laughs> and and exactly. And here's where it gets. Here's the exciting part of that, is that when we talk about thoughts that become words, yes. that become actions, that become right. habits, that become character and destiny. Right? Where do thoughts begin? Oh yeah. Right. It's often, usually, the story we are born into. That's right. Right. So if we are born into that story of scarcity, poverty, and poverty, physical have, poverty, yes. but spiritual poverty, emotional poverty, right? When we're born into that story, right? But we still have the power to change that story yeah, we do. with every we action. Do. It's not easy. It's not. But we still have yeah. that power. But you know what? We do have that power. How... I had to experience this. I guess I'm talking about myself because, mm -hmm. you know, when you grow up in a family of eight brothers and sisters, which I had, and it was a struggle. Yes. You know, my mom, I saw her go to work at night, yes. and she left us all there at the house, right. and she snuck out and yes. said, you were in charge. You keep that door locked, and you, da, 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 all the instructions. Yes. You know, and she went off, and she went to work and came back at 7 o'clock in the morning, and everything was fine, you know, right. for years and years and years. But... You don't always, you're not in the environment always to know that there's right. a different way to think. People around you don't think that way. So like I said, your first five influencers are people that are... S yes. So it, it really is, um, it's a big thing to have people like you and to have, you know, a lot more information about this. And yes. I have a lot of friends now that are in my immediate circle. I have them on the mm -hmm. show a lot and they talk about money and how what happened yesterday does not have to be a reflection absolutely. on what happens tomorrow That's in absolutely your money life. Absolutely right. That's absolutely right. This this moment that you're taking action, you're creating your future. That's right. And your history is your history. Yeah. But you know That's it. Can't do that's much right. About it, that's but you right. You can do something about it tomorrow. Tomorrow and yeah. our history. That's right. You know, once we get to a point where we're, you know, feeling, yeah. you know, in a stronger place, we can eventually look back and re see that our history yeah. is still a gift for exactly. us in some way. Um, it really does keep us connected with, with other people. You know, you know um, one of the things that I um, come on post. I'm sorry. I'm po I'm, oh, I'm sure. reading the post that I did for her. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. sure. One of the things that you. Uh, one of the things um, that I share about Money Wings uh -huh. is that, you know, I really have created it to be that safe place yeah. for women to come together to connect. Yeah. To in a place where they can be vulnerable. When you talk about money, it, there's all kinds of emotions mm -hmm. around it, mm -hmm. and sometimes we don't even know why. We don't even know why. And kind of getting back to the area of our subconscious, you know, um, it's 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 really it really drives our behavior. Yo, oh, definitely. In a in a very big way, it's I think at least ninety percent of 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 our of our actions. And so we really do need to kind of get our subconscious on board. When we have a goal, we kind of have to say, okay, we've yeah. got to we've got to have you on board with me. You have and to. And so there is there is um, there is that time where we do need to make that 
space in our life. And that's so that's right. really what I try to do with Money Wings is create that space for, mm -hmm. for women to do that, especially women who are, who are wanting to play bigger in life. And, and that's, a, that's, a, that's a good segue. When you want to play bigger in life, mm -hmm. that means you have to have a healthy relationship with money. And in, in, your, in your view, what is a healthy relationship with money? What does that mean to have a healthy relationship with money? Right. So I think one of the most important aspects of having a healthy relationship with money is really understanding the place that it has in your life. And what I mean by that is really understanding that you are not your money. In other words, you don't, what you have, whether it's a lot mm -hmm. or a little, mm -hmm. doesn't have to mm -hmm. do with who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. It doesn't reflect your identity. Money is a tool. It's a tool. And it's energy. And it's energy. And we... That is important. Very important. It's a tool. It's a tool. And it's energy. And it's energy. You can use it as positive or negative energy. That's right. But it's energy. It's energy. And... And it's fuel. Yes. If you it, allow it to be. Absolutely. And that, that... When you talk... When you spoke earlier about families, you know, that, that have... Yeah. That, that come from a, a, a world of lack and... You know, I always, that, that's really a lot of what motivates me to keep yeah. going because the more money that women are able to, to have in their life, you know, women, women are givers. Yeah. They are nurturers. Yeah. If they have a lot of money or any kind of resource, any kind of tools, they share it. They share. They share it for the good of the community. I love sharers. I love sharers and givers yes. and servers. That's one of the reasons I love this conversation mm -hmm. and you know people like you that are able to share with women and others so we're going to take a quick break because we're we have a lot of other topics about money that we want to talk about and you know playing big and having that healthy relationship with money it's just the start Mm -hmm. of forming the attitude that you need. So thank you for being with us, but you're watching Spicy Business Talk, where we give you the ingredients for business success. Hi, welcome to Spicy Business Talk. This is Diana Price, and we're here Tuesdays at 12 noon. No calories for us, but a lot of good, spicy, flavorful nuggets for you. And today we are talking about how you're going to redesign your thinking, your process, your attitude about money. So, you know, you can not have to be in that lack, and you can be the cause of the results that you want with money. And we have Marlene Lyle here today, and it's just such a pleasure. And it looks like I think we're um, we're going to we're going to talk to our caller. We have a caller on the phone, and um, let's just see if I can get these headsets on so, so it doesn't mess up my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's messing up my hair even worse. <laughs> Hello, caller. This is Diana. Welcome to Spicy Business Talk. Are you there? Oh, well, hello. Glad to be on your show. Oh, hi, caller. Can you hear this caller? Yes. Hey, I think I recognize this voice. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is Big Bad George from Cerritos. Hey, George from Cerritos. Welcome. Thanks for calling in. George, is, George has called into this show several times. George, do you have a question? You always have such good input, George, and thanks for being so supportive. Hey, what's your question for our guest today? What about us guys? <laughs> You know what? We walked right into we that. Did it, didn't we? we walked right 
<laughs> and guess what, George? You have a lot of fans that, that are clapping <laughs> right. about why are you not talking about guys and just women? Oh, my God. All right, we're in big trouble. <laughs> Guys are included, Marley. Tell Absolutely. Him. You know, it's it's interesting. And hello, George. <laughs> um, you know, one of the the um, issues that comes up a lot when I work with um, clients is that there is often uh, the experience once we kind of do the deep dives and really kind of get to the heart of what's caused some of these uh, money blocks. Um, oftentimes, um, it's the women in their life that actually cause those money blocks. And I can really relate to that in, I mean, because I know, for example, in my life, it was my dad that always said, you can do anything you want. You yeah. can do anything you want. Anything. And, and my brother, he was the one that moved the boulders out of my way to help me to get to where I wanted to go. Um, and so it, for me in my life, it, it was the men in, in my family, but, um, Unfortunately, you know, there were a lot of things in the in the women's life in the women's uh, in the life of the women in my in my family. Yes, I get my, that. My, I completely get that. Right, you know, um, and I think a lot of it has to do with um, some of the legacy again that kind of just gets passed on. You know, as a society, women have been, you know, encouraged sometimes to keep their place, yes, and not play exactly, big. Exactly. And it may not be that way as much, of course, mm -hmm, today, but mm -hmm. there was a time, and those things do continue to carry on. And I think that that was sort of the dynamic that happened with my family. Nobody's fault, it's mm -hmm. just something that happened. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, money mindset is not gender specific. Yeah. George is absolutely right. Yeah. It is not gender specific. George, does that make sense to you? I mean, I, I, I think back about, I mean, some of the things that, you know, you've shared with uh, in your life. Do you think that, you know, the women in your life, including your mom, you know, bless her soul, um, ha were able to receive and achieve what they wanted to receive and achieve with money? I mean, is that, do you think that you played a role, your dad played a bigger role? What do you think, George? Call her. Well, yeah, my, my mother, in my mother's case, for sure. Uh, you know, my current relationship, I'm not so sure. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. I get so that. She, <laughs> yeah, she's about to retire, and, you know, she has an inheritance and stuff and some money in the bank and all that type of stuff, but where to go from here is the question. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's why we love this conversation about money because it's, you know, when you look at, you know, how the cards are laid, the guys normally have a better handle. I shouldn't say normally. I said I, at times. I might think the guys have a better handle on money. It doesn't always work that way. So, um, you know, it's it's good to have women just be a lot more, you know, responsible and, 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 and allow themselves to know more about money. So, you know, people like you, George, you have to keep <laughs> you have to keep us honest. <laughs> so, so Mar Marley. Yes. If I sent my girlfriend to you, what would you do for her? She's about to retire, 65, let's say. Yes. Well, retirement in itself mm -hmm. is definitely something that is a whole new phase in life. Right. And it starts to really... Uh, it, it starts to sometimes tap into some fears that you have, your value, your self-worth. These are, these are real key areas. Uh, retirement kind of triggers all those things mm -hmm. that we start looking at. And, um, and I think that there's also a sense of, you know, legacy and, and really looking at that mm -hmm. and seeing how I want what, you know, everything I've created thus far, how do I want it to make an impact? Right. And also, you know, help to be able to obviously for the practical purposes of taking care of myself till till I you know move on to the next stage in, <laughs> in life but um, I would definitely start with talking with her and again as I said really cr creating and providing a that safe place for her where she really feels able to talk openly and freely mm -hmm. about some of the things that are that are going on um, that really don't even have to do with the money itself because once you get to the heart of where it is that you are in your mindset, 
in your attitude, then yes. everything else falls into place. You know, all the other things tend to fall into place. But you, but those things that you resist just get bigger and bigger yes. and bigger and bigger. Exactly. They can become a source of, you know, mm -hmm. problems between couples, um, problems in your career, problems in your, with your children. I mean, so yeah. definitely, I think sitting down with her and and really taking a look at, um, you know this new stage in her life. How to spread her wings. Yes, and it, how is she still cre creative in this stage sure. of her life? And how does she still feel her power? Mm -hmm. And and how is she creating a support community around her? Which is so key. Sometimes you can just set out to do, you know, your big ambitions and your big goals to right. play big, but you cannot do it alone. Right. And successful people know you do not you do it alone. You need a village. Mm -hmm. You need a team. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like uh, George's questions on inheritance that could have that could have mean that you know his girlfriend either could have inherited a combination of made her own abundance, but in some way she has caused yes. her own abundance, or her surroundings or her environment has caused the abundance that she now has. So the question becomes: How does she multiply that abundance? How did what does she do to create right multiples well, of that abundance. absolutely and you know it's it's interesting because you'd be surprised sometimes the feelings that come around um, inheriting uh, you know a, a sum of money mm -hmm. sometimes you feel actually resentful um, that I've had clients that have felt resentful that they inherited this money because it taps into this fear of I don't know how to manage it yeah I don't want to lose it I had a client once who inherited a hundred thousand uh -huh. dollars and she was so afraid to do anything with it, she just wanted it just just to stay there just because she didn't there. trust yeah. herself yeah. with her money. She didn't trust yeah. her decisions. That, that's a big. That's a big problem. Yeah, that, that can be a big problem. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So so there's all different kinds of yeah. things that you wouldn't expect sometimes that come, and you don't even realize it yourself right. sometimes right. that those things are coming up. Right. Um, and George, what would you say um, would be a good? Because um, because you, you 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 raised the question, and we don't want to leave guys out because you know this show is for. <laughs> Absolutely. <yeah. laughs> no. We 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 the acronym is seat. That's so right. <laughs> everybody in the seat could be a man or a woman. If they're a speaker, executive, entrepreneur, author, or thought leader, that's the acronym for seat. So George, you're in that category of being in the seat. So, yeah. you know, is there some, some money rules that you have that you follow? Uh, well, I'm, again, I'm at retirement age. So right now it's just preservation of what I've got. Preservation. In a yeah. very scary situation with the national debt and yes. interest rates being so low and when they go up, the whole world is going to change. The bond yes. market's going to change. The stock right. market's going to change. And who knows what's going to happen to the business climate. So, yeah. Uh, what's know. important that we stay focused on that so we can plan our path. George, we really appreciate you taking the time to call in today to call into Spicy Business Talk and talk to our awesome guest, Marlene Lyle. Thank you again. We really appreciate you, George. Thank you, okay. caller. Thank you, George. Okay, Talk soon. Bye-bye. Bye. So now that we have a chance to get these headphones released from our hairdos, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is spicy business talk. My engineer is looking at me like, I can't believe you said that. But I got to tell you, one of my callers always says, you better make sure that you Go over your hair Fair, after each yeah. commercial. I'm not going to tell you who that was, and we're going to we're going to take a commercial right now. That's why it's spicy business talk. We just can talk about anything related to business that we want to. Thank you, George, for calling. We really appreciate you. We love you. We'll be right back, and we're, you're going to see hear a lot more about uh, money and thinking and thoughts and attitudes.
Hi, this is Diana Price, and welcome to Spicy Business Talk. The topic is money today. It always seems to be around, and it never seems to go away. I want to read you a quote from Maya Angelou. She was right when she said, You can only become accomplished at something that you love. Don't make money your good. Instead, pursue the things that you love first. And then you can do them well. You can do them so well that people can't take their eyes off of you. That was Maya Angelou. What do you think about that quote, Marlene? Well, I just, first of all, I love Maya Angelou. I just I love her. I love her. And I she too. really cuts to the thick of something very, very important. Yeah. And that is where our focus is. Yeah. Don't make money your goal. That's right. Right? Don't make money your goal. Pursue That's what I the did things wrong. I said, that you love. Don't make money your goal, not your good. Your goal. And yeah. and pursue the things you love yes. and and do it so well, right? That others can't take their eyes off of you. Now, how That's does this right. connect to money and our right. money story? And I think this has yeah. everything to do with yeah. it. And that is because when you just drill it all down, and we talked about this, that money's a tool yeah. and it's an exchange, it's energy, it's right? It's energy. It's energy. So when you receive money, it's an exchange for a service. Right. It's an exchange for a product. It's, yeah. an, it's an exchange for something that we give right. to another person. Right. And it's a value exchange. It's a value That's exchange. That's all it is. That's I, all it is. It we is. put so much more into it than what it is, right? You've but achieved something, and now you're receiving something for it. That's right. And you're, you're giving something that's to the best of your ability, right? And you'll receive back yes. based on what you put out, right? right? And so in this in this way, when Maya Angelou talks about doing those things that you love, we're really talking about your gifts and your talents, what you were born to do in this life. And I know sometimes people are looking for their purpose outside of themselves and sometimes being guided by what other people are telling them that yeah, their oh purpose yeah, oh is. Yeah. That happens a lot. Right? And that's a boundary issue. And that's a whole nother conversation yeah. when we talk, you know, especially, you know, when we're talking to um, women in business, you know, boundaries issues. That's, that comes up a lot. But, um, but you know, th this, this, this need and importance of putting our gifts and our talents to use in the world and that when we're aligned with that, the yes. money comes. It yeah. takes care of it itself. It is so true. It takes care of itself. It now, here's here's why I especially love working with um, you know women who are leaders, and, but they're stuck. They're stuck, and that is because a lot of times you know you're born into this life and you're you're you, you have these leadership skills mm -hmm. and and talents and. Um, it's just who you are and you start using them and sometimes you're you're shut down and you're not supported and there's a, a powerful story of a very close friend of mine that I that I know who is anyone who meets her you know she's a leader we go shopping and people ask her do you you know they ask her for directions right she's just though she just, she doesn't have any name tag or anything uniform or anything just just she's but just the universe has just that aura. perceives that about that's her that's who she's been. that was that's her you know, main ingredient, right, to her life. I like that. That's but, her main ingredient. Right. But when she was very young, in her 20s, she started flexing those wings, those, yeah. you know, those wings and her leadership wings and and um, created some very powerful programs in the uh, organization in which she worked. And unfortunately, when they invited her to lead uh -huh. the, pro you know, lead the programs, uh -huh. put them into, in, she created them, but they asked her to actually lead them, uh -huh, you to know, implement. to implement them, uh -huh. right? She said no. And oh. so what happened was, because she was afraid, oh. she was afraid. And so what happened was they ended up hiring someone else to put her program into practice and she ended up getting ostracized because oh. she ended up, right, becoming, they were very threatened by her yeah. and very literally, very literally quieted her down. No one was allowed to talk to her. Oh. It was a very isolating experience for her, right? And it was a dark time in her life, right? And so, and she was very young, as I said, she was under 25 years old. Okay. So when she tried to flex those wings, that experience, that painful experience stayed with her yeah. in life, right? But because she fortunately came from a very strong um, foundation, um, you know, her family and everything, she ended up overcoming it. She got very smart. She found mm -hmm. out a way to get around it. She went and invested in herself. While she worked in this organization, she went to school to kind of start shifting into a new career yeah. path. Good for her. No one was allowed to talk to her, so what did she do? So she studied. Yeah. 
right? She became a realtor and from there achieved other um, experiences of greatness in her life. But she remembered that experience in her life and never again, even though she had fear whenever an opportunity came her way, mm -hmm. um, she never allowed her fear to ever again get in the way mm -hmm. because what happened the first time was more painful. That is so important. More painful. And so, but getting back around to the, the idea of, you know, yeah. when we have our gifts and talents, sometimes they're not well received yeah. and we're caused to kind of be small. Um, and because of someone else's thoughts. That's exactly and they're right. they're not your thoughts. And, they're, you know, and it's not true. And it's not and it's, true. And so you end up It's living. their truth. It's, it's not your truth. It's not your truth, right. Yeah. Um, and so important because that, she was, I, I, I can see that, you know, that she had that fear of getting in front of an audience and like really shining. It was right. her program, but right. she was like afraid of like, just getting out there. Right. She was afraid of playing big. That's right. And wasn't supported in playing big. And she wasn't big. supported. Right. And, you know, I think another story that's always powerful to me is the Debbie Fields story, you know, Mrs. Fields' cookies. I do. Yes, I don't know if you've course. ever heard her story, but just in a nutshell, you know, she she was married to a, a very successful man, and um, she was a homemaker. Mm -hmm. And they won evening they were invited to his boss's company party mm -hmm. and she went and she was already feeling a bit intimidated by this right grandeur and being out of her mm -hmm. element like mm -hmm. we all would feel if we're not comfortable in a certain area that takes us outside of our comfort zone right <laughs> so she's there and she's doing the best she can to be brave in this situation and the there comes a moment in this in this dinner party where um, the boss comes over and asks her what she does and she says, <laughs> she says, I'm just getting orientated. And she tells this story mm -hmm. that the boss, the, her husband's boss, gets up, gets a dictionary, puts it right in front of her, and sa tells her the word is oriented. And if you don't know the English language, you shouldn't Ooh. speak. Right? Talk about being made to feel small. Ah. Right? But what did she do? She, of course, was, you know, shamed and humiliated, but she decided from then on out, and these are her words, that she was going to be somebody, right? She was going to be somebody. But it came from the fact that her father and her family taught her what true wealth is. Yeah. And really, ultimately, in the very big picture of things and also in the heart of the matter, wealth does not have anything to do with the cash in your hand. No, it has it to do with what you're born with yes. and what the world is waiting for you to give right. birth to in, and, and give to the world and give to the world and because every, it is men and women. Absolutely. Whoever has, yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. So wealth, so again, I think it's so important for us to really take a look at what is, what is wealth Wealth is what you have within you. Yeah. And when you start playing big, and that just means taking one little step. Yeah. Because big is different for everybody, it, it right? It really is. Right. Just taking it one step really, today. It really is different for everybody. To change your, your future, to change your story. And that's really what Money Wings is, is changing your story, and your money Angela story. And <laughs> did it well. She said, don't like make money your, your goal. goal. Just I said good, do what but you love. That's a, money yeah. is good, but you don't want to make it so good that you don't understand, you know, what you love. Absolutely, because it'll you come. you can love the things that money does. I mean, it's Absolutely. Just, you can really get down deep, but if you don't have, to me, the core values, if you don't have a baseline that you can always fall back on, right. you're going to get off course. You're not going to stay on the right path. It helps you to feel like you can be successful and be safe because some people right. are afraid of being successful. Exactly. But you can you stay yeah true yeah. to your values, and I the Gates family are in their inspiration for me because they make a whole load. I mean they're just one example yeah. of a family that makes a whole lot of money, but they do so much good with, with it. it. Yes, so yes, much they do. good. Absolutely. Yeah. And I had um, someone told me that you know they when they make a lot of money they feel that they can be happier. And I think that that is such, I think it might be a backward way of looking at it because right. you can't postpone your happiness. You have no. to keep that going while you Absolutely. are treading. Absolutely. You know, there, 
you're so right, Diana. There's people you'll talk to that oh, I've I'm spoken so to. I have money. But you, and, and you'll meet people yeah. that will say that they have lots of money and they're still not happy. Exactly. And they thought, wait a minute, I thought this was going to make me happy. happy. What's going? And then you now. really spiral and say, now yeah. I don't know. So really, it yeah. you're already right. Being happy already with what you have. You talked there. about some blocks earlier. What mm -hmm. what are the three common money blocks? What are those three? So what are the three one of the money most blocks? common money blocks is the anxiety and fear around money. Anxiety right? and fear. And it really comes from this scarcity mentality yeah. that there's not enough. And that really creates a whole lot of other problems too. Um, you know, not wanting to share, jealousy, mm -hmm. these kinds of yeah. things. But when you really recognize and shift to really understanding Sometimes just being in nature can really help you to come into contact with the abundant world yeah. that we live in. The beautiful, the beautiful things that we just it, don't appreciate enough. Abundant, abundant, abundant. just abundant. Abundance. Even the cells in our body. Yeah. We're not made of one cell. Yeah. We're not made of ten. Oh, I know. We're made of millions. millions. We are born into a world of abundance. Ab there's plenty. There, there is, is plenty. plenty. We just have there to is plenty. Yes. So anxiety and fear is one of the... Is is one of the three common money blocks. Yes, and I would also say that another common money block is, I'm not good enough. Uh, I'm not good enough. Um, that and th these are universal. And yeah. and by the way, we yeah. all have money blocks. Yeah. This is all of and us. They might be different. That's right. Yeah. They're all. They may be. They're yeah. all different faces, all yeah. varieties. But we all have our money blocks. Yeah. And so, but this the sense of I'm not good enough really does. You know, that, that, it that, really, a lot of people have that issue. A lot, yeah. and and really, you know, examining, you know, our value right. and our and our self worth, right. and really, and you can you can really, in the easiest, quickest way, you can start shifting that. You know, you can, for example, you know, I know that at one point in my life when I felt, mm, gosh, you know, that that feeling of yeah. of of worthiness or yeah. just that place of wanting to feel better about yeah, myself well sure. i know i can control you mentioned before right we're not g gaining any calories here in <laughs> our conversation right i mean i can control my what i eat right, right. and so i can e easily by that choice of what i don't put in my mouth today uh, i mean junk food whatever uh, can start to see i can start seeing those results very quickly i can sure. start s feeling better about myself i can you know and the it starts to create a momentum, yes. but in the simplest ways, in the very simplest ways, we can do this. You know? We can. Mm -hmm. And what's the third money block? And I would have to say that um, another one of the very um, uh, common money blocks that um, that I hear a lot is, "Who do you think you are?" <laughs> These are like who do right? you think, do you think? You are? These are the voices in our head, those quiet voices, and some uh -huh. some of my clients will name them. You know, um, uh -huh. I know. You know. Helga is sometimes a popular one. To, uh -huh. <laughs> Helga, you pipe down. But yeah, um, it's this, you know, who do you think you are? So you try to, right, um, step out and, and into your gifts and use your talents, whether you're an artist or, you know, a, whatever your gift or talent is. You get tripped up. And you get tripped up because you hear this in your own head, who do you think you are? And then you have perhaps maybe people around you, going, around you that are saying, why did you even consider right, something well, stupid like that? Right, or, or how, where do you think that's going to, instead of that supportive, and it doesn't yeah. take much, right? If we already have that voice right. in our mind, it doesn't take much. And that's why it is so important to right. have a positive, uh, support community around so you important but and if they are not positive in terms of well first of all you, you, the people around you have to be on the same page with you they have to have your values they have to support you in a way and if, if you don't have people around there right. you know what i say i say eject them and reset with new friends yes completely yes be time to get a new set of supporters i, I agree 100 percent. and i do know that sometimes that causes us to stretch our comfort zone yes and i know sometimes we'll keep people in our life that really don't belong there Correct. that keep us small and they can be family yes. they can be close friends yes you know i i, I talk a lot about the fact that the people that don't support you and the people that don't have the same values. And a lot of times, support is not what you just said. It is that and more. I mean, yes. it goes, support goes a step further than, you know, the negative chatter. Support, yeah. 
really is that you can take the load. Someone can take the load yes. off of you oh, sometimes. Oh, yes, especially. And allow you to just oh, absolutely. breathe while they help you absolutely. through what you're going through. Absolutely, and that comes in so many ways. I mean, I, do, I work right. with a lot of mompreneurs, uh, you know, women who are moms and juggling their, their yeah. own business, taking advantage of all the online uh, opportunities for business, but they still have, you know, their children, their yes. husband at home. How can, yeah, yes. you, they can receive support. Well, we're getting support. toward the end of the show, so I I want to ask you how our listeners can get in touch with you if they need oh. some support with their money thinking, <laughs> <laughs> with their thoughts about money. Well, um, I'm so grateful to have had an opportunity for um, uh, a lot of people in my life who have helped me. And so, you know, I know we're moving into this wonderful spirit of Christmas and yeah. December. and. Um, it's one of my favorite holidays. And so I've been doing a lot of thinking as we come, of course, out of Thanksgiving and gratitude. And, yeah. and I do feel an immense amount of gratitude for the people who've helped oh. me to get to where I'm at. And so as a way to kind of pay that forward, what I'm um, offering is um, an opportunity for folks to, if they just send me an email, I will sit down with them for a 30 minute free uh -huh. session. And this is just for an opportunity for yeah. them to chat. And that's it. It's just because if you have actually come to a place where you're ready to talk about yeah. some of these things, you need to be able to, to, to do it yeah. and act. And you'd be amazed at what, um, what you can, c insights that you can have uh -huh. when you just open up and talk about it and, and share. And sometimes um, that's the best way to have, you know, a sounding board. Yeah. Just a sounding board yeah. and um, and maybe some, some tips on how you can um, address some of these money blocks. So mm -hmm. um, if you just email me okay. at marlene at growmoneywings.com. Okay. So that's marlene, M-A-R-L-E. N E N E at, at the at sign at sign and then grow G R O W that's right money wings just like it sounds that's right wings with an S that's right yes dot com dot com and in the um, in the subject if you could just put spicy talk spicy business talk that's Yay! right <laughs> so that is awesome do you have one last quick maybe ten second money rule that we can <laughs> all Get from her. Let's get some money rules. Let's get some money rules. Any quick money rule you can think about? For me, I would say that, you know, I, I really go back to this whole idea of of playing big. Play big. Uh, you know, don't don't be afraid to to play big. Yep. And um, what that really means is that if you really are toying around with something that you want to try, yeah. Please, please, please. Do it now. Time Do is so precious now. because yeah. you won't make a mistake. Everything is a learning experience. Mm -hmm. the, the, the more that you're able to just get started, take an action, and go forward with it, you'll learn. You will. And you'll, because it takes yeah, time. Transfer, it does. Transformation is time. And when you do it, it becomes experience. Yes, and then exactly. And when you do it the next time, it becomes easier. Exactly. And then the next time, it's easier. That's right. And then guess what? It becomes a thought, it becomes That's right. an action, it becomes <laughs> a habit. And Marlene, we have loved having you here. Thank, let's give Marlene a great thank big you. round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you for being here. And thank you for all thank the money you. rules. Thank, thank you. you for the attitude. Thank you for the money wings. <laughs> We really appreciate this. If you need to reach this lady about money, you get to her at Marlene at Grow. Moneywings.com. Money Thank, Thank, <laughs> Thank you so much for being with here. We really appreciate it. We'll see you next Tuesday on Spicy Business Talk. And make sure you play big and do it now. <laughs>